Hi everyone, uh, I'm back. My name is John. I am an English and history tutor here at The Edge and uh, I would like to go over the second part of the first question on the IB History Paper 1 exam. Uh, so as we can see from looking at what we have in front of us here, we have um, another short answer question based on historical source. But uh, question 1B is always on a political cartoon. So it requires us to do a little bit of different uh, textual analysis and to do this one. So that's what we have in front of us, as you can see. So we have a strategy for tackling this, just as we had a strategy for tackling the question one. Okay, so the first, uh, thing that we have to do is, again, just like for question 1A, we have to identify key information in the question so we know what to look for. In. So here, the question is, uh, what does source J suggest about Anglo-German relations in 1935? So the key point here is the part about the Anglo-German relations. Now, we have this cartoon in front of us. We could be focusing on a number of so it's important that we identify that key in the question. We know that we're not going to focus on any of the other aspects of the source. Okay, so that's the first thing that we have to do. Now, the next thing that we have to do is we have to read the cartoon and then we're going to make notes. We're going to circle or underline or highlight relevant content from the source. Now, you really only need two main points because this question is worth just two numerical points. Uh, if we can come up with three, that's fine. It helps give us uh, a kind of safety point in case we miss it, but we'll see. Okay, so now this is when we actually start to take a look at the source more closely. So we see over on this side here, we have the dialogue exchange between and Sir John's side. And we have over here uh, the cartoon itself. But one of the things that we notice as it relates to Anglo-German relation is we see the interaction between these two figures. And we see that it's quite positive, right? So we see that Hitler has his arms up in the air and he looks quite jovial. And John Simon, well, maybe he isn't as enthusiastic as Hitler, but he also looks like he's happy. He has a smile on his face. That's going to be the first thing that we notice. So we can mark uh, on the text clear to ourselves what we've noticed about it. So that could be our first point, something about the relations between Germany and Britain uh, being primarily friendly and positive. Oh, okay, so uh, that's, uh, we still have to do a little bit more analysis. So yeah, we see their interaction, but we also have this uh, exchange of dialogue uh, between them. So Hitler says, the more we arm together, the peaceful, were more peaceful will be. And so it looks like this is now about uh, armaments. Now we also see that Hitler has a jug of, must be beer or something that says conscription. Okay, so this is definitely a text that's talking about um, uh, Hitler uh, increasing his army. We have that now. John Simon has a response to this, and it's actually not quite as friendly um, as we have originally anticipated from the ways that they're looking at. So, Sir, John, uh, Sir John Simon says, well, or up to a point, in certain cases, provisionally, perhaps. Okay, so this actually reflects that he is not as enthusiastic, and maybe even beyond that, he's not really so thrilled the idea of armament from Germany. And that can be our next point. So we can uh, also highlight that point so that we know what to refer to when we're giving our answer. Okay, so we have these two points now. The next step is to provide a short and complete response that uses information from the source to answer the question. So we would end up with an answer that looks quite uh, like this. So we say the cartoon shows that Anglo-German relations were mainly positive. It's in the body language, which is jovial and fantastic. 
and John Simon, though not nearly as celebratory, this would suggest that Britain and Germany were on friendly terms in 1935. However, the cartoon also depicts John Simon is reluctant to accept rearmament as he seems to stutter briefly before saying that he'll accept armament up to a certain point, meaning that Britain would like for armament. Okay. So what we have in a uh, response like this is basically just a reworking of the two main points that we arrived at from looking at the source. We see we have the first one underlined, and that's what we're talking about, their relation is extremely positive. Hitler looks really happy. John Simon, less so, but he's still okay. And then in the next point, we're talking about how John Simon is speaking uh, in a way that suggests that he's maybe not so, so happy with this idea of Germany building up uh, a very large farm. Okay. If we look at this in comparison to the Marx scheme, okay. now we're not always going to get the points that appear on the Marx scheme. You basically just have to get valid. And it just so happens that we actually uh, got all three of them. And we got the middle one rather accidentally. So we see here uh, the points. And the first of the bullet points says relations seem to be found. We said that quite uh, explicitly. And so we didn't get a point for that. We also said that Hitler is enthusiastic. We're in control. Enthusiastic is what we said. We got this one more or less accidentally because we weren't uh, necessarily focusing on just one side and identifying our key point during the release. Well, okay, we need this to make anyway. Good for us. Yeah. And we um, see here that there is a third bullet point. This is one that we were intending to use. That Simon has reservations about allowing German uh, armament. That's right. When John Simon was stuttering and he's saying, uh, uh, I don't know. We made that point in our response. So we're definitely going to get very least uh, our two points for this response, and that's really all we need to do. Okay. okay, so I'll see you next time. I'll probably be doing a question on uh, English literature. Okay, so see you next time.